Hello, Commander. Computer reporting. Now here it is. I don't know a whole bunch about the Intellivision. In fact, until recently, I never played any of its games. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't judge. If life has taught us one thing, it's that it's never too late. And when you know hardly anything about a console, the best way to find out is to play its games. And so that's exactly what I'm about to do in this video. So buckle up my friends, it's about to get pixelated. Or maybe I just need glasses. So here we are in no particular order. This one is motocross. Playing this for the first time, no idea what I'm doing. Just going with the flow and trying to get a feel for the game. But more importantly, looking for your feedback. I mean, what are your thoughts around motocross? I'm not going to lie, I think if I can get my head around the controls, I'm going to really enjoy this. I quite like the cover art as well, really nice. And I think you can get some big air on this game. Hi Karumba, look at that. What other systems did this come out on? Was it just the Mattel in television? And is that flicker on the screen a part of emulation? Or did it do that on the real thing? So I'm starting to get the hang of things and you can really pick some speed up. I mean, look at that, look at it go. So far, so good. Now this is a classic, Pac-Man. Can it beat the Atari 2600? Smashed it, completely smashed it. In fact, they've bent it like Beckham. I'm still rubbish at the game, although my claim to fame back in the day is I could make it to level four. You'll just have to take my word for that. But looking at it, considering the hardware and the time this would have been released, this conversion is pretty stinking cool. I mean, you tell me, in television fans, you tell me, is this good? It certainly plays and looks good to me. If I've got one gripe, it's the controls feel a bit stiff, a bit sticky. But again, that could just be the emulation. Almost there, almost there. But I'm shocked. This is fabulous. I chose the games on display here, just at random, and ones I recognise from the arcade. So, so far, I think I've picked well. Pitfall, eh? Another one I recognise from the 2600 and the ColecoVision. And I'm not disappointed. Again, I'm slightly struggling with the controls, but I think that just might be the emulation. When I look at this graphically, you have to remember the time that it came out. But it looks pretty comparable to the other versions I've played, if not better. There's definitely a crispiness about the graphics. And I like the colour palette so far that's been used in the games. Let's see if I can get over using this rope. There we go. Something like that. <laughs> so the crocodiles are next. I remember these buggers. Oh no, I've forgotten my crocodile shoes. What on earth is this? Not impressed. Control doesn't feel good. Oh, graphically minimal. Don't like the road updates at all. The car just looks like a red blob. I mean, this is a big license. Did the Mattel in television struggle with driving games? I mean, this is the only one I could get my hands on. So a question there to Intellivision owners. Is there a driving game out there that you recommend? So far, this doesn't look good. First impressions are bad. I'd have felt massively ripped off if I'd have, if I'd have bought this back in the day. A proper dud this. Right, Cuba, sorry. Now this looks good. Just work out the controls. Oh yep, yeah, very good, nice movement. I remember playing this in the arcade loads, it was brilliant. I don't think I ever played a decent home conversion. I had the Amstrad CPC and there were lots of clones, but I don't recall anything playing this well. So initial thoughts on this is that it's really good, it's a good arcade conversion. Had I have owned a Mattel in television back in the 80s, yeah, I think I would have really enjoyed this game. The Intellivision is probably a little bit better than I thought. Now River Raid, th this is a fantastic game. On the ColecoVision, on the Atari 2600, I think on the Commodore 64 I played it as well, and I couldn't get enough. And I think from first impressions, the same is true of this game on the Intellivision. But the only thing is, as you can notice, there's a lot of flicker and the enemy ships uh, seem to blow up off their own accord. So I'm thinking that the emulator I'm using is a bit buggy. 
And outside of real hardware, I need some recommendations on what emulator I need to run to play these games. Well, you know, to get as near to the original console experience as possible. Ah, the good old days. The Empire Strikes Back. What a movie. The best of the trilogy. But I can't help feel there's something missing from this game over the Atari 2600 and the Commodore 64. It could be the sands of time, but it doesn't feel as sophisticated as the others I mentioned. And that's probably saying something because the game wasn't complex or overly sophisticated to begin with on any system. But this particular version on the television, I just found boring and quickly reached for the off button. Saying that though, I can see how this type of game has its fans, but it just wasn't for me. Turbo on the Intellivision seems to me quite the achievement. Graphically it's a bit blocky, but you can't fault it. Whilst it lacks the detail of the ColecoVision version, everything is still here. The spinning disc controller works well with this game, and there's a good sensation of speed. I believe if you'd have bought this back in the day, you'd have been mighty pleased. Don't get me wrong, the ColecoVision version and Intellivision version can't hope to match the arcade original, but don't forget this was the 1980s, and back then, this would have been acceptable. Also, essential, because it was a game from Sega, and for as long as I can remember, that was always a seal of approval for an excellent game. You can't beat the arcade version for a game of Centipede. Or so I thought. Another fantastic arcade conversion for the Intellivision. This is a lot of fun. A bit blocky, but still a lot of fun and easy to control. I'm not seeing any slowdown. Rate of fire is good. And from what I'm seeing, unless I'm mistaken, this feels like a good challenge. So another really good game for the Intellivision. Not sure what to make of this one. It feels like a decent clone of Missile Command, only this time with the enemies coming in from the side of the screen and not dropping from above. It takes a bit of getting used to because the controls aren't as intuitive as you'd like them to be. Well, I'm struggling, so I can't speak for anyone else. But it's worth persevering with because eventually it clicks and then you can start knocking the enemies off quite quickly. So not as accessible early on as you'd like, but play it enough and it grows on you. And graphically, it's got something about it. Yes, it's minimal, it's basic, but there's a lot going on. And I like the colour palette as well for the Intellivision. There's a lot to like. By the power of Grayskull. It's so funny, I remember these toys uh, like it was yesterday. You had Fisto, I mean, come on. You had Ram Man. <laughs> the clues were there, right in front of us. But you know what? I absolutely loved these toys, and especially the cartoons. It felt to me like a fantastic time to be alive. And even now when I think back the nostalgia, I really feel lucky to have lived through those times. As for the game, I don't really understand it or know that much about it, so I'm going to persevere. So right now I couldn't tell you if the game's good, bad or ugly. And I have to check myself because I'm massively biased to anything Masters of the Universe. I thought the movie was good for Christ's sake. But this video has been a good lifting of the lid for me in regards to the Mattel television console. Don't get me wrong, I was aware that this console existed back in the day, but I didn't know anybody that had one. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment, like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more notifications. Until next time, Tarara bit.